the voice to me is, yeah, the, the, the original instrument, the original uh, way in which we as human beings were able to express to one another how we feel, what our thoughts were. And it's really special that we, we get to use it as a medium to express ourselves. And you'll begin to see what a good time brings. Don't you want to take off and fly? Reach for the sky, gonna take you to the limit. Don't waste a minute here, you do every fellow. Voice uh, to be recognized in this genre and form, which is so special. You know, jazz is, a, is an amazing thing that asks the participant to bring discipline, learn the instrument, learn all you can about the stuff that you got to do to make your instrument part of you, and then bring freedom. The voice to me is everyone's unique um, gift, I think, and a vessel to create for um, those of us who have chosen this instrument. Of the sun, and we are west of the moon. the dream house of love. The voice to me is how I can let everything out, whether that's emotionally excited, sad, happy, everything. It's just how I can get my voice out there. This can't be love, but you know, Jesus spell. My head is not in the sky. My heart, my heart, my heart, my heart, my heart, my heart cannot stand still. Just hear it beat. This is too sweet to be loved. The voice to me was the initial instrument a human being could express himself through. The voice to me is the spirit being a vessel. It's a gift. Tonight, we are gathered together to honor and pay tribute to my dear, dear friend and present him with this year's Humanitarian Award. Quincy Jones, it's almost exhausting to think about everything that he's done, you know, everything he's had his hands in. So I think he's just an inspiration for so many people. Quincy's just an all around great musician, fantastic orchestrator, one of the last living great orchestrators, and uh, I'm a huge fan. Come fly with me, let's float down to Peru. In Lama Land, there's a one man band and he'll choose for you. As a person, he's very sweet, you know. He's a guy that made you feel comfortable around him. I would go from a non musician standpoint, he brings all the elements of music together that we don't even realize in our common day life as far as, you know, you can go from the Sanford and Son thing to, you know, for the, for the, uh, for the hard, you know, jazz people, you know, he's got the foundation of, you know, the big band era and doing those arrangements and, and then you got the modern day with, you know, with Michael Jackson and it just, just endless pool of like, music and bringing it all together and not even, you know, just kind of uh, bridging the gap, uh, for lack of a better word, bridging the gap for all, you know, jazz and pop and, and all of that. Quincy is someone who's been on the forefront of everything that's been cool in music for decades. Uh, a great trumpet player, an amazing arranger, worked with everybody you can imagine, including Frank Sinatra and on and on and on, and went on to become quite an activist also. So he's a person who 
you know, we are the world has is, is, is changed my life, right? It really brought together singers and performers from all over the world, but especially the United States and the United Kingdom. It's Herculean. I mean, you can't, um, you know, it's ten, it takes ten genius musicians to accomplish what he has. He had this tremendous gift to know just what, when, and where to put it. Music, that is, you know. And he crossed into all borders. It wasn't this kind of music or that kind of music. If it was grooving, he made it better. has the Midas touch, it's the Quincy touch. You know, everything that he touches, it's, it turns to gold. But never much too soon. I've known Q since the 50s. We're a year apart, and uh, we've, we've been tight friends ever since, and uh, I, I, don't know how, I don't know what to say about him that hasn't been said a hundred times by, by everybody else. I'm just p happy to be a part of the, the whole journey. It's been almost 70 years now. It's crazy, and, and you can't plan any of this. So I work with every major artist in the history of America, with Billie Holiday at 14, Cap Calloway, Billy Eckstein, everybody, man. Ray, Ray Charles, we came up together, Aretha, Sinatra, everybody. It's crazy. And you can't plan that. It just has to somehow happen. And you don't even look at it to explore it until you get, I got my 80s, you know, because jazz guys don't live that long, you know. Quincy Jones and I, um, I could say we fell in love. I was very young, and it was my first movie, Cactus Flower, and he was the music. So he was the musical director. He created the songs. He, he was, was and is, at that time, he was so lovable, so alive, so joyful. And we became friends, and that was in the 70s. And I used to go to his house, I used to play tennis. I had so much fun with him. And over the years, I have watched him continue to grow. Not to fade, but to grow. To stay interested in life, travel the world, make a difference, figure out ways and means that he could produce people and find new talent and celebrate something like that. Quincy has been at the uh, forefront of uh, modern American music uh, for like 60 years now. He has known everybody in the music business starting with uh, the end of World War II and going up to the present day. Here we are in the 21st century and Quincy is still finding new talent and uh, exposing new artists to the world and uh, sharing his thoughts uh, musically with uh, so many people. Back when all this stuff was starting and this is why I'm a, such a main, amazing supporter to get a minister of culture in America because we're the only country in the world that doesn't have a minister of culture. And with jazz and blues, that's sick, you know. Yeah. And it's affecting the kids big time because the food, the music, and the language is what makes the culture go. And they don't know who they are. The rappers don't know. They don't know where they come from. It's terrible. They think uh, break dancers started in the Bronx. It didn't. It started in, in uh, Brazil influenced by Angola and Macumba, with Caipirero, you know, it's like a martial art, and that's the pure breakdance, that's where it came from. But they, the guys are too young to know that though, you know. Watch this guy just continue to rise, continue to innovate, continue to be the first of everything, you know, and expand in so many different directions. I mean, by far, he's one of the great geniuses of, of our time. I always admire people who can do that, uh, arrange, you know, who can take a piece of music and an artist and uh, create this kind of ambiance, this feeling 
around the uh, around the idea and the artist. So I mean, he's been quite successful uh, doing that kind of stuff. We are the world. him at his age is he sitting down at this age that he is no he's still going around finding young talent and going out on the road with them and schooling them you know we need more Quincy Joneses in this world Whitney Houston said it very greatly when she said Quincy Jones was the best friend the song ever had she said I thought that was an incredible statement